we're going to conduct some controlled tests of the new Tesla MCU versus the old MCU so we can get a good apples to apples comparison on differences in speed. Both Teslas are hooked up to Wi Fi for the purposes of this test. So we're going to start by navigating to the destination in Southern California, Marina Del Rey, which is the Tesla Delivery Center. The new MCU took about nine seconds to complete the navigation and trip planning with supercharging stops, and the old MCU took about 20 seconds. Um, an additional controlled test, we continued to find the same disparity, sometimes even larger. On some of the new MCU tests, uh, it would calculate the route, charging, and destination in as little as five and a half seconds. Now I'm going to do a vector of zooming out on the navigation screen as wide as it goes, and then zooming back into our current location. Not a surprise, the old MCU does a lot better with vectoring. Fully loaded. When testing the manual map navigation with vectoring, I noticed that the it was hard to navigate with the old MCU because the delay in response times from my finger inputs and the responsiveness of the screen. So it resulted in me kind of sliding all over the place on the map, places I didn't intend to go because the screen wasn't responding fast enough to my input uh, versus on the new MCU, I didn't really have that issue at all. We're going to do a controlled test of the dash buttons. We're going to navigate from the left button all the way to the right, one in a row. As soon as each screen loads, I'll press the next button and we'll see the difference in speed. The screen nav buttons turned out to be pretty much exactly the same speed when lined up side by side. Now we're going to navigate from google.com to tesla.com. This is by far the biggest improvement and was the most painful test. The web browser loading time for web pages on the old MCU is just unbelievably slow, almost unusable versus on the new MCU. You know, 10 seconds isn't bad for rendering the Tesla homepage. You know when it's done as soon as done. The MCU upgrade is something that a lot of owners are being pretty vocal about online and social media asking for a retrofit. Is it going to be upgraded with firmware? Uh, rumor has it a firmware upgrade's coming that's going to improve the performance for existing MCUs. Uh, it's unlikely to be as fast as the new MCU. I think that's just unrealistic because the new MCU does have a new processor, but I think we can't anticipate to see the old MCU improve as Tesla continues to push out software updates. And it's super awesome to see this new MCU come out. I'd love to have it. I'd love to be able to buy that as an upgrade if they ever make it available.